Uh, this is Yvonne again, and I'm here with Amy Morgison here at the library, and it is National Romance Novel Month. Yes, love is in the air. Love is in the <laughs> air all month here. So uh, we're really interested in romance novels. What are some of the most popular ones you have here at the library? Um, we have, it's, it's normally certain authors that are the most popular. It may mm -hmm. not be the title, but those certain authors are the ones that people automatically want to be put on hold for when they mm -hmm. come out. Um, the two that we've got out this week that haven't even been cataloged yet, um, Dorothy Garlock, um, Debbie McCumber, actually a third one, Jeanette Oak. They are uh -huh. going to be the most popular right now just because they're the newest by those authors. But okay. um, Danielle Steele, um, Jackie Collins is still, hers are not quite as popular as they used to be, but they still are when mm -hmm. something new will come out. Mm -hmm. um, several different types. It just depends upon what type of romance novel you like to read. Now that is what we were talking about a little earlier here, trying to figure out what is a romance novel and what's not romance. Mm -hmm. Can you give us some kind of direction with that? It, it really depends. Some of them will fall into kind of a, a mystery slash romance and I'm trying to think of who will do some of those. Um, I think it's J.A. Jantz. I think hers kind of will do a little mm -hmm. bit of both. Um, Nora Roberts yes. writes romance, but she also writes um, kind of some mystery, kind of suspense things, which okay. she writes under J.D. Robb, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. So it, it just depends. There's a fine line on some of them, but there are different degrees of romance novels mm -hmm. because you've got um, Jeanette Oak, Beverly Lewis. Both of those are more Christian fiction romance, mm -hmm. so you don't have maybe as much of the steamy scenes that you might have in Danielle Steele and especially Jackie Collins. They're a little more risque, yeah. I guess. Okay. Now, would you call Fifty Shades of Grey a romance novel? That is actually something that you call a new adult title, and that's a new okay. term. That's not that's not something that's been out very long, mm -hmm. and that a lot of those will fall into a little more alternative romance on that one. Um, that okay. that storyline's a little little different than your typical romance if you know what the storyline mm -hmm. is. Um, okay. And that are, now are we substituting that for another word that we have? <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> I'm trying to... New, new adult, whatever. New adult I I encompasses a lot of different things. Uh, primarily, we call it new adult because it is um, books that are geared towards your 20-something age group, okay. those that are you know, early college years, up till maybe about 30, but there's quite a few people that are above 30 that read the new adult books. That's one of our most popular areas. Um, they don't all necessarily fall into things like the Fifty Shades of Grey, but quite a few of them do. Mm -hmm. um, and it just so happens that the age group of the person that the book is about is in that age category, that 20-something, early, early 30-something, that don't fall into the teenagers and don't quite fall into the regular Okay. romance, but um, usually they are a little more risque than some of the other ones. They they focus on some different practices that not yeah. everyone of the romance sure. reader area want to actually read about, but quite a few do. So. Okay. Now what's popular in that genre? Um, Fifty Shades of Grey is, um, I'm trying to think, there's so many series. Almost every one of them has, you won't find a standalone book. It okay. will be a series of books that's could have up to 11 or 12 in the, the series before you're finished with it. Um, I'm okay, and, and it looks like they took that from Fifty Shades of Grey, is, you know. Yeah, and uh -huh. it, it seems to be a lot of a, a spin off of that. And yes. I'm trying to think of the authors in that, but um, usually they're titled things like Entwined or um, yep. something really dark and, you know, a yep. little. A little sinister. Yeah, a little sinister, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's get back to our basic romance novels here. I know that you also you have the novel, but you also have the books on tape. Mm -hmm. We have audio, audio books. Um, they're all on CD. We no longer carry tapes just because they're you mm -hmm. know obsolete now. Sure. But um, we also have uh, downloadable online books that you can get. So if you can't stop in and get your books, you, mm -hmm. can, you can either download the e-book or you can download the e-audio book so that you can use those at home as well. I know these are new books that we have here now, so I know that you can come in and put your name on a waiting mm -hmm. list. Is that correct? You can. You can come in and put your name on the waiting list. If you have your PIN number 
and you have access to the internet at home, you can go online, use your PIN number, and log into your account. And anything that you see online that's not in at that time, you can put on hold. And so we'll give you a call whenever that comes in. Okay. Yeah. Well, I know the library is constantly getting in new books. What's kind of um, an order of, of how things come in as far as new books? Um, some of the authors that are the most popular we have on a, um, a program called Automatically Yours, we will automatically get things like Debbie McCumber and Daniel Steele, things like that. But for the most part, we take a lot of requests from people so that we try to get those. We're, we're what you call a popular titles library, mm -hmm. and that primarily means that we want to focus on what the people in the community want. Um, we do mm -hmm. try to keep a, you know, a small collection of the classics and things, and we do keep updated um, nonfiction titles and things, but mostly we want to get what people are wanting right then, so it's the things that are most popular right then. So if you come in, you ask for something, We'll put in a request for that. We try to order that as soon as possible, get that in and let you know. Um, a lot of times, too, everyone on staff here, for the most part, we're all avid readers. Mm -hmm. So if we see something, you know, if we're watching TV, if we see something online, mm -hmm. and we know that that's going to become, you know, oh, that's going to be big, we need yeah. to go ahead and get that. So we just try to get everything as soon as we see it, just because we know that we want that to be out for them as soon as possible. Okay. I'm going to put you on the spot. Okay. Okay. Give me a recommendation for a romance novel for the month of August. For the month of August, I'm trying to think. Um, Something that I could really sink my teeth into, get a, a, a good romance story. I want traditional. Just tra traditional I want tra romance. a traditional romance um, story. I would say you would go with the Debbie McCumber then, because Debbie she's, McCumber. hers are kind of just your, your normal romance. Nothing, mm -hmm. you know, not anything too Kinky. dark or yeah, I'm kinky. <laughs> 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 Nothing like that. It's just you know you, you're you know it's usually got a good storyline with it, uh -huh. but it's also got the romance. We like a it story. Too. Yeah. Yes, the story is um, always good. No, usually no um, mystery or anything uh -huh. involved with that. But um, yeah, there's there's so many that are out there, uh -huh. and you know if there's something that you're looking for in particular, if you have a certain type, we have a lot of people that only read historical fiction romance. They want it set within a certain time period and. Some are, some <laughs> down to they want it to be you know 17th century <laughs> England yeah. and yeah. you know yeah. we can find it for you usually it's just you know it just depends upon what you like. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know they've set August aside as uh, Romance Novel Month, but if you come to the library here in Marion County, you can find a romance novel for any month of the year. Is yes, that correct? you can. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and if we don't have it, we will try to get it for you. Okay. Well, listen. Happy reading. Thank you. During the month of August for all of our viewers out there and for Amy here. Hopefully I can find a, uh, a romance novel before I leave today. And uh, thank you for helping us out. Thank you. Uh -huh.